<laughs> All right. Anyway. Hmm. <laughs> oh. Let's go this way. This looks sweet. Let's kill some stuff. Kill a slime boss. Um, usually swap relic, right? Tiny house. Nice. Honestly, wow. With that battle trance, I think that's actually a pretty good trade. The fuck is this? We're playing Slay That Spire, a reality TV show about a young man with a plan to slay a building. Look at his trousers. Look at his boots. You can't do this on my birthday. <laughs> I'm gonna take the pummel here, actually. We don't have any strength to make it good yet, but we can probably find some strength. Right? We could probably find some strength at some point. Shrug's a little worse than usual because we have a super... You know what? It's a prismatic shard, Knight. Fuck this. Tiny house prismatic shard. Let's go. Ah. <sighs> Chat is covering up my HP. What is up with chat right now? Why is it there? It's not the right place for it to be. Let's put it over here. That's better. Holy shit. These aren't ironclad cards anymore. What's up with that? Let's take an early genetic algorithm, I think. Although Consecrate's pretty good. Guess we're not getting any strength. Yeah, it's gonna be harder now that we've taken Prismatic Shard, huh? I think I actually am meant to colorless potion here. Might as well, right? Oh my fucking, it died. It died when I attacked it for lethal damage. I didn't get to play the genetic algorithm as well. In retrospect, that's sort of obvious that that happens. In retrospect. It's unfortunate there was no way to know at the time. Uh, <laughs> Raffles sub, thanks very much for the sub. I'm Bumo Show to you too. You're doing well. Let's upgrade a battle trance actually. I sort of was curious about that anger there. But I think the Dark Shackles is just a bit too powerful. Alright, Dramatic Entrance, Follow-Up, and Piercing Whale. Hafu! Hafu! Thanks for the raid! That was so much fun, playing in that lobby. That was the most fun I've had playing among us, like straight up. That was so much fun, that was such a good lobby. This is the game I've been playing on stream for the last like two and a half years that people know me for. But Among Us has been so much fun lately. That game is just like, I don't know. It's like the perfect streaming game. Cabacon Hikogumelos. That boy thinks the sub. I'm show to you too. Hey, Razel. We try to keep it pretty chill here. We meme a little bit. We try hard a little bit. 
We're wholesome a little bit. We're toxic a little bit. The yin and yang of streaming. You play strategy games and uh, uh, that's about it. I think, mainly. I'm gonna take a follow up here, I think. Right? I cost a flexing so the five gifted subs. Um, if you've never seen Slay the Spire before, this is a really cool game. If you know Hearthstone, Hearthstone has the single player content where it's like you go through a dungeon and build your deck up and stuff. Slay the Spire is sort of like a game that is entirely built from the ground up to be all about that. And uh, it's really, really good. Runs take like an hour to two hours, probably. Um, at the highest difficulty, very few people are winning more than half of the time, so it's challenging all the way up. And the ways that you lose are like, it feels good to lose in this game. It often feels like you can identify something you did wrong. It's not just like you got unlucky. And we're playing a very weird run because we got a tiny house and a prismatic shard really early. So this is just going to be fucking bizarre. I'm sorry if this is your first look at the game. Honestly, I'm probably going to ruin it. Tell her Dawn thanks for the gifted sub. So, um, there are four different characters, and the the meme thing with Prismatic Shard is that it makes it so you can get cards from all four of the characters in the same run. So where the game is usually about clever synergies and sensible deck building, when you get Prismatic Shard, it's just like, I don't know. Just goes fucking bananas. Timu tree thinks the five months. Bumu show to you two. View count is like a little bit weird to update when a raid comes in. And some people are gonna show up to the stream and be like, oh, who is this guy? And then leave. And uh I do definitely take personal offense at that. But, I mean, I don't want you to feel bad if you have other things to do, you know? Irrational as pie. Hey, I have many small turtles. Hafu has better hair? Get out of... Are you... Excuse me? <laughs> I can't call hello. What do I... What... Is it because I didn't gel it today? What are you talking about? I can't ban no it's Super Kamiguru. I would like if I banned viewers who were as good as no it's Super Kamiguru, I would not be able to afford my rent anymore. Poison Stab is interesting, but I don't get any poison synergy because I'm not actually playing silent, right? Cool headed's a little bit interesting. I could see cool headed being okay, honestly. It just like blocks for two every turn mostly. Dig zip him, hello. Do we get to see spreadsheet George tonight? I don't. I don't think that I'm in a spreadsheet mood tonight. I just not only stood on top of a body while someone killed people, but also managed to convince everybody else in the lobby that I was the one killing the people. And I think that's sort of how my night's going. How does channeling work with Ironclad? Uh, when you pick up Prismatic Shard, you get an orb slot. And so I have one orb slot. I will not get like more orb slots than that unless I find a capacitor, I guess. Ooh, that's a good card. But yeah, when I pick up the Prismatic Shard, I get one orb slot. The addition of Watcher buffed Prismatic Shard because every Watcher card is broken as fuck. Yeah, that's probably true. That that scans nicely for me. Is Prismatic Shard good for Ironclad? Oh no, 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 no. I I absolutely do not want anyone to be given that impression. That is not why we have Prismatic Shard. It's just uh, it's that sort of night.
Whoa, Pummel interacts with Talk to the Hand like that? Whenever you attack this enemy. I guess it does. Pummel attacks four times. Pummel deals damage four times. Oh, I mean, I guess that's the interaction. I purchased Prismatic Shard at the first store. Whoops. It's not a genetic algorithm. Mm. Is there any class where Prismatic Shard is good? Oh, wow. Pretty much the only place where you will unironically purchase a Prismatic Shard is in the Act 4 store, right before the final Elite fight. And the reason is that if you have an orb slot, the final Elite has a 50% chance of reducing your focus. And if you don't have an orb slot, the final Elite always reduces your strength. So pretty much the only reason you ever actually unironically buy Prismatic Shard is if you're in the Act 4 store and you have a bunch of money and nothing else to do with it, and you want to have a 50% chance of having one more strength. That's basically it. Other than that, there is almost no legitimate reason to ever purchase this thing. It's not just like throwing 200 gold away, it's actually throwing 200 gold away in order to make your deck worse. So pretty good. I'm gonna take the red skull here, it seems fine, right? Prismatic Shard gets Ironclad, Silent, Defect, Watcher, and Colorless cards. Would Fiend Fire interact the same way with Talk of the Hand? I think it would. I'm pretty sure it would, yeah. I'm going to upgrade Apotheosis. There are not many good upgrades there, honestly. But this one seems fine. Uh, I think I... It's awkward, right? Because uh, Flex Potion's best this turn with Pummel. But on the other hand... Hmm, I think I just play Pummel now. I want to use it to get a really good split on Slime Boss. Get Slime Boss significantly below 75 health. I could Energy Potion this turn and then Flex Potion next turn if I wanted. SBR, hey! Thanks so much for the 10 gifted subs. I appreciate those. Mini Ogbomu shows. Thanks, SBR. This is fine. I'm just going to leave it on 79 and assume that I get a pretty good split sometime soon and I actually block for quite a lot, right? I take 15, which doesn't quite make Red Skull work. Almost. Uh, this is pretty bad, but... I think I'll win. I'm gonna do this because I'm spooked. Now I should win. <laughs> Tripe, thanks so much for the 14 months subbed. Who is high on absurd among us? A little bit. Consume Among Us responsibly. Oh, whoops. Hopefully I don't die. I didn't think I would splitting that. Didn't do the math properly. Should be fine though. Hey, lungs. Uh, I don't know. Mayhem's okay. Violence is okay. They're both better than skipping, I think. I think violence might be slightly better than mayhem, though. Judgment is not okay. Judgment is shit. Let's uh 
let's not mince words here. I would rather not have a judgment in my deck right now. Chat is way more degenerate live than in YouTube videos. We're having an interesting night tonight. T Dubs, thanks so much for the prime. I appreciate it. Oh, I want to play more Among Us already. Uh, anyway, uh, let's let's take the violence. I think Mayhem's like significantly more funny, but I think we take the violence. I think it's a better card slightly. And this is bad. This is bad. Because I can't really kill elites on three energy. And I'm not sure I can really take Coffee Dripper. I think I might have to take Coffee Dripper. It might not be a very long run, though. Sim is playing Among Us? I could join some. And Merlin, and Yammer and the Meowmer. I think I'm just going to do a run of Slay the Spire and then wind down. Can I say more words about what the relics do? Sure. One thing you can do is you can mouse over anything. If you're on desktop, you can mouse over anything, pretty much. You can mouse over the potions. You should be able to, like, mouse over the gold, I think, even. When we're in fights, you can mouse over the buffs and stuff. This game has really good Twitch support. So... That's cool. But when I'm looking at a relic reward screen there, I should really mouse over them. Yeah. Um, this one, the problem is that we cannot rest anymore, which is going to make it hard to heal. But it does give us an extra energy at a free turn, so we can play more cards. And our cards are sort of good. They're okay. I also already saw Nilri's Waffle this run. So unfortunately, I'm not going to be able to save myself with that. Nilri's Waffle is a relic that full heals you. So if that was still out there, it would be nice, you know? Oh, Lee's Waffle. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Lee's Waffle. We have one Blood Vial. We gain two health every fight. That's all we got, though. Which was enough to gain health overall in that fight, I guess. These cards don't really do anything. I would talk more about those cards if there was anything to say, but they just don't help us in any way, I don't think. <sighs> I'm wondering if I should use this Flex Potion with Pummel this turn to sort of get through the fight faster. Yeah, next turn sort of sucks. Unless I draw Bash, remove the last artifact charge so that I can actually use Dark Shackles for the debuff. Oop. Um, is that lethal though? Seven times five is 30, yeah, that's lethal. Hey, little Todd. We're playing a very normal Slay the Spire run, mini K. Hey, yeah, Adela Class, thanks for the 28 months. Ogbo Mushu to you too. I like Burning Pact here, I think. It's just a good card. Better than Backflip? Is exhausting one card better than gaining five block? Probably. Exhausting a card's pretty powerful. You can go Divine as Ironclad, but I don't have any guarantee that I'll ever see other Watcher cards, right? So there are a lot of things that I could say about this store, but I can also just click on Ari, which is way funnier. E-Fragment. Hmm. Florian Blues doesn't really work. Does Exhume work? Does Offering work? Offering might kill me. I can't really lose 6 health every fight. 
always happy to see a defragment. Literally cannot channel an orb. <laughs> Let's take Offering. Let's take Ixium. I now have Ixium and Offering. It seems alright. Um... Just have to work out how to get my health back. That's the problem. Can lose 12 health per fight. Yep. Yeah, that's that's basically the problem. Here is he. Thanks for the 16 months. Study is very slow. It's okay for long fights, but it's very slow for short fights. I don't think we want it. Sneaky Strike, Flurry of Blows, Turbo. No, no, no. Dagger throw. No? I think no. Thank you, though. All right. No, thank you. Don't really want to shame. No scry. Well, the problem with Warcry is that... Wait, no scry? I'm not actually sure which one you're talking about. No scry. Oh, third eye. Maybe I should have taken third eye. I should probably have thought more about it. I can exhume genetic algorithm and stack it again. That is straight up OP. That's busted. That's honestly unfair. I could also exhume apotheosis. That's true. Actually, like most of the cards in my deck, exhaust it feels like. Card is going nuts. Distraction. I think distraction makes an ironclad skill here. I think. I'm pretty sure. I'm, like, relatively confident. I don't think I've ever played Distraction with a Prismatic Shard before, but I'm almost certain it makes an Ironclad skill. Let's try it for science. I do not think this card is good. I would prefer not to take it, as I think it is terrible. But we could have taken it. And it's true that we could have taken it. I don't really think we can fight that many elites. I'm not forced to take more though. Like if I fight this one, I can always go this way and then I don't have to fight more. So now we care about the deck being good, question mark. I feel called out. I feel like that was quite rude and I, I feel called out right now. How often do I draw Dark Shackles next turn? A lot of the time. If I draw Dark Shackles next turn, I actually want to get attacked next turn, I think. Hmm. First of all, how dare you? Secondly, I was an electrical the entire round. I 
Okay, well that elite fight was not very difficult. I think I took six damage and it was from playing Offering. We got a Paper Frog, we got a good potion. And we got a Loop, a Calculated Gamble, or a Reckless Charge. I like Calculated Gamble. Especially with um, Battle Trance, because what will happen is Battle Trance will draw four cards and I won't be allowed to draw more cards, and then I'll play Calculated Gamble, discard my entire hand and not draw anything, and it'll be good content. I think that just makes sense. We could have had loop and defrag, yes, and uh, no orbs, but that is neither here nor there. I could have taken the cool headed earlier, and I regret my decision not to. And since burn is very strong, especially we're up against um, automaton. If we enter this fight with incense burner on zero, we will be intangible against the main attack in the fight. So that's pretty nice. What am I exhuming here? Talk to the hand? I might need offering. Feels sort of close. I could also just burning pact and look for dark shackles. Well, this sort of works. Okay. The illusion of skill. I have blocked for 42 so far this turn. Okay, I have blocked for 58. Uh, Madness, Backflip, and Bowling Bash. Probably not. I don't think any of these cards are very good here. Amino Koala, thanks so much for the 10 months. I appreciate the support. I appreciate you all. I not only basically didn't take damage in the fight, but I also left with Incense Burner on 4, so I'm going to be intangible on turn 2 of the next fight, and I have Anchor for turn 1. So I think we can just take the third elite fight here. No big deal. No big deal at all. I actually don't hate Bowling Bash. It's going to be good in the next elite fight, and it's going to be decent against the boss. Hey, I'm tilting. I guess I'd rather find a multi-attack that was good instead of buying that, but I don't know. I think just remove a strike here. We could take Flash of Steel. Flash of Steel is a okay card. We could take a Volve. A Volve is an okay card. Doesn't help against the boss though. Yeah, I think just removing Strike is sensible. The thing about buying Flash of Steel is that I can probably go infinite relatively quickly. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Like, almost every card in my deck exhausts. So I could go infinite on, like, turn 3 or something if I got two Flash of Steels. I would just need two of them. Also, I already have a talk to the hand. Hold up. Okay, let's buy this. Hold up.
Mm, this doesn't quite work. It works with a potion, it turns out. Do I want these cards? Not much, right? Maybe I wanted Battle Trans. God, I don't want these cards. <laughs> I'm actually intangible, so I only take one damage for playing that. Uh, violence? Talk to the hand? Good double stack genetic algorithm. There are a lot of wounds. I'm a little bit concerned about how many wounds there are, because my deck doesn't have many cards that aren't wounds at this point. Maybe we're good. Ideally, I want Incense Burner to be on zero, which means three more turns in this fight. That might not be possible. Uh, next turn's gonna be rough. It's worth paying some health, though. Not that much health, but a little bit of health. Probably not 10 health. An anonymous user has gifted 1,500 subs to the channel. Rabbit Thief, thanks for the three months, by the way. Anonymous user, thanks very much for the 30 gifted subs. I appreciate that a tremendous amount. Thanks for the support tonight, everybody. No, not actually 15 hub. No, I that was <laughs> I was exaggerating. I guess I didn't go high enough. Some of you are like, "Whoa, 1500 subs? Yeah, that sounds reasonable." I I should have said a million or something. <laughs> That's normal. Yeah, George deserves that. <laughs> 1.5 billion US dollars. Um fuck. I guess I'll just go to the hallway fight. I don't want to take 10 here. Body Slam. I actually think Body Slam is probably pretty good here. Sometimes a viewer might gift 1500 subs over the course of years of watching. And if that happens, it's like less ridiculous. 1500 subs is what? $7,500. So if you watch a channel for like six years and you love it and want to support it with a hundred bucks a year, that's like, or a hundred bucks a month rather, that's how much you have to be supporting to get to 1,500 subs. That's a lot of subs. <laughs> it's a large number. I want to get rid of... Um, I'm gonna get rid of these two. Let's transform those into a demon form and a clothesline. Okay. Not atrocious. Um, different streamers get different amounts from subs. Personally, if you sub to my channel, uh, Jeff actually gives me more than you pay. For every $5 you sub to my channel for, uh, Jeff Jeff uh, Bezos, Bezos, Be Bez I, mean, I always call him Bezzy when we're hanging out together. Um, 
he actually gives me a hundred bucks. So if you're interested in, if you're interested in you and me, the sum of our wealth increasing, and you don't mind if I get all of it and you lose wealth, just going ahead and subbing to the channel is a great idea. RJ Dabber Yates, thanks for the subs. By the way, all of the things I just said are not true. I've been playing too much Among Us. Too much Among Us. I'm not even sure I trust myself anymore. I sold you? Oh no. Hopefully I'm not like legally responsible for what I've just done. I think that for stuff like that, the threshold is whether any reasonable person would believe it to be true. And so because I set it to Twitch chat, and no one in Twitch chat is a reasonable person, I'm probably legally safe. Hey Vega, hey Peter, Cupcakes, Arxel, hello. Is this the Prismatic Twitch run? No, this is the Prismatic Jorbs run. I'm just being an idiot because this is who I am. Unsubscribed, unfollowed, uninstalled. Please don't uninstall me. I use your uh, graphics card to mine Bitcoin while you're away from the computer. I sort of like the sweeping beam here. Hey Raven, thanks for the two months. Suck but Mushu to you as well. <laughs> Is Jorbs even playing? I don't know. I'm having an out of body experience right now. I like the sweeping beam. A little bit of card draw, a little bit of AoE. We didn't have any AoE yet. I don't know, I just sort of think it's good here. Genetic algorithms at 41 block. We need a calipers. Oh my gosh, imagine if we got a barricade. Barricade could actually just like, like barricade plus the genetic algorithm just win. Just those two cards, nothing else. Unfortunately, I played Battle Trance, so if I were to play Offering right now, I would lose 6 health, gain 2 energy, and draw 0 cards. Doesn't seem very good. Hey, Farnix! Why would you steal my delicious, delicious cards? Uh... Hmm. How am I going to get rid of its artifact stacks? Maybe I should have just gone Bash Clothesline here, actually. That might have been a bit of a punt. Oh, because there may be children in the audience, I am liable. That is, mm, that is a bit concerning, actually. I will have to end the stream in order to contact my lawyer. Is it morally justifiable to steal cards to feed your starving orbs? I think a lot of things are morally justifiable. You just have to sort of like cross your eyes. Axiom plus. I think we will win pretty soon. Oh hey, thanks for the 
Those are like bits or a donation or something, right? <laughs> you all made my Streamlabs dashboard crash. Thanks a lot, 100 bits, Anub. How does that work with bits? Oh, um... I just print bits out when they're sent to me, and I put them in a bathtub, and then I bathe myself in them every night. So... I assume that they have some actual cash value, but I, I wouldn't know what it was if never... Never done anything like that. Sid, thanks for the Twitch Prime! I'll we'll show to you too. How do they smell when they're moist? That is the most disgusting sentence I've ever read. I don't know how you did it, but that is just disgusting. Leave my channel and do not return. Uh, I'm sure, I'm sure you're a great person. Hey, hey Catfinate. Tropic Brew, Machine Learning, Fiend Fire, and Unload. So Fiend Fire is pretty good, especially with like Offering and Red Skull and Demon Form and Talk to the Hand, like especially with every single card in my deck, Fiend Fire is very good. Which I think means I'm going to take Fiend Fire. Cool. I'm glad we got there eventually. And I, huh. So our options here are Astrolabe, Upon Pickup, Transform three cards and upgrade them. So we could get rid of some of our strikes or defense and get upgraded ironclad cards, random ironclad cards. Sozu, gain an entry at the start of your turn, you can no longer obtain potions. This one's a little bit awkward because I have an entropic brew here which is going to obtain me two potions when I drink it. So I guess I'd have to drink it now before picking up the Sozu. Might not be the end of the world. And Philosopher's Stone gives us an energy at the start of our turn, but all enemies start combat with one strength. Which I don't love, to be honest. don't really want to give enemies one strength when I have a coffee dripper. I think I'm going to go with the Sozu. Which means I drink this now. Got an Essence of Steel and a Block Potion for the rest of the run. No other potions. Uh, we have to go to the Super Elite if we want to win Act 4, so we have to path through here. Which means we have to path through here. Which means we probably don't want to take like 5 hallway fights and die. We probably want to go this way. That makes sense to me. God, it's really good with violence as well. How did I not get Fiend Fire there? Get out. <laughs> That's disgusting. How many cards do I have to draw? It's okay. I got to stack um, genetic algorithm this way. So regen potion would have been nice. That would have been a way to get some health back. But Sozu means I can't pick it up, of course. Hmm. Have I played OSFE? I do not know what that stands for. I don't think. This deck's really strong. It just, uh... I think it sort of sucks on turn 6. I think it's really strong on turn 1 and 2. I think it's really strong on turn 10. I think it might suck a bit on turn 6. And turn 6 is a somewhat relevant turn. Especially in boss fights. It does sort of matter. I'm just wondering if I pick up Piercing Whale. I already have a Dark Shackles. Oh, 
One step from Eden. Oh, I looked at that. I didn't look like it was quite the game for me, and I think a lot of other games that I wanted to play were coming out at the same time, so I never actually tried it. It's possible I would enjoy it. I'm really bad at telling what games I will enjoy. I just, like, don't know. It's, um... Slightly incredible to me how wrong I am about whether I'll enjoy games or not before trying them. It just seems like as someone who's been playing games for fun for my entire life and also on occasion professionally. It feels like I should have some idea of which games I like by now, but I like still don't know. <laughs> I, I would never have guessed that I would enjoy Among Us until I actually played it. Trying to work out next turn here. This turn's fine. Next turn gets weird. I don't really want to lose 6 HP off offering. I'm trying to work out if there's a way I can set up to not have to. I could assume calculated gamble. Ah, uh, there you go. And now I can play Offering, but it only costs 1 HP because I'm intangible. Hard to believe Among Us came out in 2018. Yeah, that was what, five years ago? Vaguely remember 2018. I think I had a Nokia brick that could send text messages, and I was like, whoa, text messages. That was a big thing for me. Um, that was around when they invented the automobile, right? Hey, Janoki, thanks for the 21 months. Hongbomu show to you, too. And we landed on the moon. Real talk, though, imagine if, like, someone got up on a stage and just, like, deadpan to the crowd. Well, not exactly deadpan. Evocatively, emotionally to the crowd. Just, like, looked in the camera and said, We will go to Mars. Not because it is easy, but because it is hard. Imagine if one of our politicians got up on camera and said that publicly today. And then we actually did. <laughs> Absolutely unbelievable. The 60s must have been fucking insane. Just utterly and totally crazy. I'm gonna take the Abacus here. We shuffle our deck relatively frequently. Ich bin Twitch Chatter. So the tricky thing in this fight is we don't want to get a curse. Every time you hit it, it changes its intent. We don't want to... Oh, I almost... I thought I'd be able to hit it again, but it has too much shield. So actually, if it changed to giving me a curse there, I was just getting a curse. That was bad. Well, better lucky than good.
Miss Ravalier, thanks for gifting that sub to No Wait Super Kamiguru. I appreciate it. Elon Musk is poised to be the first super villain? Okay. That's the most offensive thing that anybody's ever said to me. Do the things that I've done in this community mean nothing to you? Wow. <laughs> Elon Musk is absolutely set up to be a supervillain, though. I agree. If he wants to be a supervillain, he's a uh, he's right there. All he has to do is come up with a diabolical plot to destroy the world, right? That's the only thing that's missing. Like, all it takes is, like, him to throw up a live stream on Twitter where he says that he's going to melt the polar ice claps with nuclear weapons. And then he's like, everything else is already ready for him. He's going to shoot Mars into the Earth. Sure. Believable. See, I just wouldn't believe that most people were going to do that if they said they were going to do that, you know? But if he did, I'd be like, oh yeah, probably. I should, uh... <laughs> should probably call my parents and tell them I love them. Should do that already. I should. I should call my parents and tell them I love them. We should all do that. Should we take a break? As a group, it's 10.45 p.m. I would call my parents and they would be like, what the fuck are you calling? <laughs> We're fucking asleep. <laughs> Uh, I don't really want these. And flame's okay, but... You should all call my parents and tell them that you love them. You can actually reach my parents at support at hotmail.com whenever you would like. You have anything at all that you'd like to say to them. Uh, I sort of don't have relevant upgrades anymore. I'm just gonna, well, I don't know. I'm gonna recall in case I get a relic that lets me do something else at campfires, I guess. I just don't think those upgrades do anything. Mm, I'm okay with taking six. The gimmick in this fight is that for every card you've played, your attacks deal an extra 10% damage. I'm gonna play a bunch of cards. I actually sort of don't want to draw a card because I wouldn't be able to play demon form. You could DDoS my parents with love. It's so kind of you to think of uh think of my parents in that way. I'm sure they would be both touched and frustrated. Give me this thing back. Hey, Red Dirty Doe. Why won't you? Hi.
Hey Aries, thanks for the 10 months. I'm gonna show to you too. All right, the giant head is dead. We got a preserved insect. We got unplayable garbage. Nice. At least I don't have to think very hard about that one. I don't want a blue candle. Pendum's nice now. I am now basically having to upgrade because there's nothing else to do. Let's like upgrade clothesline in case I draw it on the first turn and want to be able to weaken something for a while. Uh, remove a card, upgrade a random card. Transform two cards. Transform two cards might be better. Transform two strikes. Until like literally anything else. Or remove a card and upgrade. Do I want two random cards or do I want one less strike and a random upgrade? But it costs more. I think I want to get rid of two strikes. True Grip Battle Trance. Okay. Those are fine. Time out, hold on. <laughs> I need I just time out. Hmm. <laughs> just need a moment here. Walked with Yeti and five up. <laughs> what the fuck is this, Dwarves? <laughs> what the fuck is this? <laughs> Wait, was I wrong? Chat. <laughs> So, we have to work out how to kill these. They have like a bunch of, I don't know. It may actually be sort of difficult to kill them. Team. Don't discussion moderation in chat. Uh, I mean, that makes sense to me. Simply do not discussion moderation in chat. I do somewhat see your point, though. Even form stalling, then smack them once? Yeah, we may not even really need to do that, to be honest. We do have our own thorns. We can beat them at their own game. We also can just like kill them pretty easily. Hafu played Slay the Spire quite a lot back in the day. I think that's one of the main reasons that I know Hafu. Uh... I think that's the main one. I think I've been subbed to her channel since she was playing Slay the Spire. 
probably. It's trying to work out if I want to like do anything else in this fight. Like putting this on a different number might be a good idea, for example. Putting it on perhaps four. Four is probably the right number. Should be doable. Any reason not to exhume genetic algorithm? Did I not exhume genetic algorithm? I thought I did do that. <laughs> Is Hafu still playing Hearthstone? Uh, Hearthu's playing whatever she wants, basically. She hasn't played Hearth uh, Hearthstone. She hasn't played Hearthstone for a while. Battle him, Consecrate, and Hologram. She just won Pog Champs for chess. I think she played like 1,500 games of chess online or something over the course of like two months and then just like beat everybody. Just normal Hafu things. I think David got like third or fourth in that as well. It's a fucking power couple. Yeah, definite god gamer. Battle him, consecrate, and hologram. This card's not that bad. It's also not that good. I don't know if I want to have a... Probably not. Is Hologram good? Hologram might be okay. I could... The problem is most of the cards that I'd like to get back after playing them actually have Exhaust. But I could use it with like Body Slam or something. There are ways that I could use it. I think. Yeah, I think there are ways that I can use it, and so it's worth picking it up. Uh, my health matters a bit. Colorless cards. Wait, another Flash of Steel would be incredible. Blind Panacea, Dramatic Entrance, Dark Shackle, Swift Strike, Magnetism, Deep Breath, Good Instincts, Panic Button. Deep Breath? <laughs> Deep Breath goes infinite for me, so we take it. Take another Dark Shackles, probably, and a skip. This should kill, I think. Shit. When I play Bash, I use up the pen nib. <sighs> that is a problem. Okay, so I can play Offering and win now. Actually, Deep Breath and Abacus have an interaction. Didn't even think about that. Hate Acrobatics Plus. It seems like I'm trying to draw cards really fast and go infinite, and it helps me do that. So let's grab it. I'm going to take a True Grit upgrade, I think. I don't know. I don't think the upgrades really mattered that much at that point. I could do whatever I wanted. How do I like getting asked why Hafu isn't playing a different game? Different from Among Us? 
I'm good to... I don't know. I'm in a good mood. I like everything that everyone has said, except for that one person who said I was shit. I think four and a half hours ago, someone came into the channel and said I was shit and bad, and I still remember it and feel terrible. Hi, Caitlin. Sorry, that was Caitlin. Uh... <laughs> That's just normal. Don't don't worry about it. What's up? Go focus. <sighs> I'm the opposite of shit. I'm bad. Oh no! Not even sure what that is. I would like to, I guess, just play Battle Trance. I don't know. We could hologram, like, Flash of Steel first, maybe? I think it's okay. I think we can just play Battle Trance. And if we miss really hard, we can hologram Genetic Algorithm. What do I do? Okay. I don't really need this, do I? Probably not. If it's Sisyphus. It's just a normal, uh, okay. I'm not going to lie to you. I'm not sure anybody's quite sure what this run is. I have some theories. Do I need... I don't need demon form, because I just go infinite. It just doesn't do anything here, really. Well... Okay. What it would have done is it would have made it take a lot less time to win. Yeah. I would have had to click about like 200 fewer times probably if I played that. Unnecessary. Doesn't sound like a relevant thing to me at all. If I just keep body slam actually. Keeping body slam basically does that for me. Uh, I can just do this. But I don't want to keep Body Slam. It's like the worst card. Wouldn't playing demon form cost me health? Maybe. It would give a weakened one more strength. Which is maybe gonna cost me health or maybe not. Hard to say for sure. Let's get rid of this. I don't wanna have to play it. Like choice between demon form and corruption at the end of Act One, which do I choose? Typically, 
I would say it's really hard to say anything is typical in this game. There's just too much stuff that changes from run to run. But I would say that the most common one for me to pick in that situation would be corruption, because corruption's obscenely strong. Corruption's very, very good. Hey, Dylan. Don't worry. This is about to get a lot less confusing. Are we there? Four, eight. I think I need to get rid of one more card. Now we're there. Can hit the Drunk Owl. Well, I can play this for sure as well. Play it twice. Okay. Right. And now we catch up. How is everybody? How are you doing? I hope you are well. I hope that you're... September is going well. Body slam would be nice, wouldn't it? Definitely exhausted that card. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely had that card and exhausted it. But on the bright side, this does beat the heart if we reach the heart. So that's nice. Body Slam is objectively a bad card because it only does something in this situation and objectively we have 100% won the run guaranteed in this situation. So the only place it does anything, it doesn't matter. Objectively. Now, there are things we could say about the value of 10 minutes of our time. There are definitely things we could say about the value of 10 minutes of our time. I think I want to kill this next turn, so let's actually chill and then kill it next turn. It's 2 a.m. Nobody here values their time. It's only 2 a.m. in some parts of the world. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Body Slam will, like... I mean, it's possible I'll use it to one-shot the Act 4 elites, for example. I'm not saying that it's impossible it would ever do anything for the rest of this run. I'm just saying that in this fight in particular, it wasn't really necessary. By Burning Pack my other cards, I can press 1 instead of 4. Well, Burning Pack will still be there. I could press 2 instead of 4, though. Hmm, that would actually be an easier key to press. <laughs> HM dash out. I'm gaining energy the longer this goes on. Wait, I have eight energy. Oh, because of Nunchaku. Yeah, every 20 times I play a card, I gain one energy. Well, 
that's uh, what I'm choosing to spend my life on. Infinite energy, infinite card draw, infinite damage, infinite block. Uh, what else is there that you could need? Hey, Germinators. Thanks for the four months. I'm to to you as well. This is still the first boss. You're not wrong. Infinite number of clicks. Mm. Almost. Is block infinite when it's capped? I mean, I don't know. you know. None of it's actually infinite. Oh, that does not give you block if you have no cards in your discard pile. I didn't know that. What's well, an interesting thing to find out? Awkward time to find it out. I don't think I care about... Dono's the one that gains strength and Deck is the one that puts daces in your deck. I don't see much reason why I care about daces. Or, sorry, I said that backwards. I don't see much reason why I care about them gaining strength. I think I care more about having dazes in my deck because it slows me down. Merlin, thanks very much for the Twitch Prime. I'll more show to you as well. You just lost three Ironclad runs in a row and then Rage quit. I'm sorry. Have you thought about maybe trying to be better at the game? I take it back. I take it back. That was mean. Get good, punk. <laughs> Sir, uh, you're great. You're great. That was... Sorry. I didn't mean it. I didn't mean it. It would help, though. I mean, you would win more often, but no, 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 you're great. <laughs> um. Jorbs unveils his true colors. Jorbs, I trusted you. I thought you were wholesome. this. I'm just going to stack genetic algorithm some more first. Uh, actually, like, why don't I just take this one? I don't, like, die. 19. 19's not that much. The Jorv strikes me as the kind of person you can safely follow to a second location. Absolutely true. Especially if no one knows that you're with me. This needs to be on four, so I don't want to end the fight this turn. Four is the best number for it to be on for the Act 4 Elite fight. Not PJ Rebus. Where'd our deck go? We slowly got rid of most of it until we're at an infinite for the longer fights. All right, well, I'm not allowed to rest. What's the best early upgrade? 
Because most of the cards will upgrade when we play Apotheosis. Maybe Battle Trance. Gets me one more card drawn if I have to play it. It's a 172 bits little top. Um, Dual Wield is interesting. Dark Embrace is interesting. Dark Embrace is probably better. Dark Embrace draws so many cards. So many cards. I think we take Dark Embrace. The tiny house that could. Red by Jorbs. I'm just going to go ahead and block for 75 so I don't take two damage. And if that doesn't make sense to you, I, I unfortunately don't know any simpler way to explain it. This is about to murder me next turn. It's going to be like very unfortunate murder. Murder most foul. Keep this, I guess. Sean, thanks very much for the 16 months. I'll go move show to you too. Sorry about the bullying. Uh Let's try to kill this. Yeah, that'll do it. Play offering should be fine. Exhum apotheosis to upgrade the burns. Unfortunately, and inexplicably, that doesn't work. Only hexaghost is allowed to upgrade burns. I want this to be on four. Shit, that's really awkward right now. I should probably have thought about that sooner than now. Uh. Maybe, 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 maybe the deck's strong enough that I can get away with it. Yep. So I just kill next turn, which is probably easy. Okay. Ashes. That'll deal quite a lot of damage. I'm not sure it's relevant, but it will deal quite a lot of damage. I actually like Recycle here a lot. I think it speeds me up a ton. And it's the Heart Fight. With a turn one, talk to the hand. And Dark Embrace. Both good. Both good. Do I need any of these cards? We have the demon form conundrum again. I don't need any of them though. I think we just get rid of them.
there. It did something. I could exhume demon form, actually. The heart puts five statuses into your deck, and I only have five cards left in my deck. Slightly awkward. Wait, can I just exhume? I can just ex I can just win this turn or something. Just exhume fiend fire. I don't need any of these cards. Um. Yeah, recycles there. It's obscene. That's obscene. Here we go. This is my deck now. <laughs> oh no. Um So, we won. What were the lessons to take away from this run? Uh... I don't know. I don't know. I guess the situation where I bought Flash of Steel for 100 gold instead of removing a card. If we're going to be like at all reasonable in analyzing the run or whatever, that's probably the most interesting situation in the run. I think buying Prismatic Shard was atrocious. I would not recommend anybody ever do that. Thanks for hanging out tonight, everybody. As we are now winding down, although we have yet to see the score screen, so do stick around for that. I have been Jorbs. I stream Slay the Spire all the time, and lately I've been streaming a lot of Among Us 2, playing with all sorts of fun other streamers. It's been great. Heart of the cards. What is my high score for Slay the Spire? Must be like 3,700 or somewhere in that range. I don't know exactly. Am I going to stream any more Hades? Maybe. At the moment, I have a list of games I want to stream that's like 10 long. And Hades is toward the bottom of those 10. So possibly, but no promises. There are just a lot of games I'm enjoying lately. Thanks for the 92 bits, Janoki. You do get a bonus. If you play more than, I think, 20 cards in the same turn, you get a bonus. Can I do a 10 hour stream last time I played Hades? Uh, I think the first time I ever played Hades, it was a 10-hour stream. The last time I played Hades was, like, this week. Played it a little bit. Played, like, three or four runs. How are playable do I think as far as the eye is? 
I have enjoyed as far as the eye as a downtime turn brain off game. I don't know that it's a game that I'll stream a lot, and I don't know that it's a game that's able to be balanced in a way that it's fun to play as a challenge, I guess. I don't know what the right way to say this is. It feels like a game that's really fun to play if you like playing it, but like Slay the Spire is fun to play if you want to try to beat it as often as possible. And I'm not sure as far as the eye is that. The reason a lot of people have been streaming Hades lately is that 1.0 just released after over a year in early access. And yeah, it is a fun game. Um, the biggest thing about Hades is how smooth it feels to play. Just like all the controls are great, the voice acting is great, the animations are great, the art is great, the music is great. Like All of the components of the game are really good individually. And it's enough to make it fun, even for people who don't really like that sort of game, I think. You also really like how much narration there is. Yeah, there is a tremendous amount of voice acting recorded for that game. Okay, well, that was a really strong run, I guess, in the end. Puffy Dripper did not end up being a problem. Actually, purchasing the Red Skull sort of ended up being embarrassing. I don't know that this has... I think there was one time this did something. I think in the Automaton fight we went below 50% HP. But I bought that thinking it would be great all the time, and then it really, really wasn't. <laughs> not even a little bit. Uh, I played a bit of Bastion. I didn't get all the way through it, but I enjoyed it. I've won 100% of the prismatic runs you've ever seen. Incredible. Why did we take Prismatic Shard? It's just one of those nights. It's just one of those nights. Win with zero cards left. Uh, I can only get down to one card left. Is the last card that I used to recycle. I won't be able to recycle that one, right? Was this a turn one kill? I mean, almost. It was a four turn kill where we dealt infinite damage every turn, but the heart has a damage cap where you can only deal 200 to it each turn. It's finally over. And 3162. Not particularly high, actually.